We're here today as part of the People's Assembly demonstration to call on the government to end its austerity economic policy, to end imposing austerity on schools. The impact of the funding cuts that are going to happen in our schools is going to be terrible for our young people and wide ranging across all aspects of the work that we do in schools. So it's really important that we're here today to defend what, uh, education for the young people that we work with. We can't put up with any more cuts. It's bad for children, it's bad for students, it's bad for our schools and colleges, but it's bad for our economy and our country too. Parents do feel very strongly about education. Of course, um, everybody wants um, the best for their child to be able to reach their full potential. But actually, it's about more than that. This is about our country being able to fulfil its potential. And we won't be able to do that if we don't invest in our young people and make sure they've got the skills and the knowledge that they're going to need. Head teachers are making decisions that they know are bad for children and bad for education. Cutting staff, increasing class sizes, stopping clubs and other activities that enrich the lives of our children. What kind of government would take away the life chances of our young people? What kind of government would turn its attack on the teachers and head teachers speaking the truth about those cuts? A government that is totally out of touch with the people they exist to serve. But we have power in our hands and now we've got them on the run. We've had 100,000 people out on the streets today. Let's build and build and build in every community. Because we want in every community now, through every trade union, through every community group, through every campaigning group, People organising now to stand up and say, enough is enough, we're not taking any more. How is it that we're deciding the life chances of a child at two, three and four, knowing which ones are likely to end up in university and which ones are not? It means spending public money in all parts of the country, not denying the chances in the poorest, often post-industrial areas of Britain. And for older children who want to go and get an apprenticeship, want to go on and achieve in life their skills, their ambitions, their dreams, too many of them are foiled in that because they can't afford it. Foiled by college fees, foiled by the loss of EMA, foiled by the huge university tuition fees that they're being charged. I say instead, tax the corporates that we can educate the young.